In this video, we're going to be looking at Connor Ben's drug ban and to explain why it is the case that he has been banned and what was he taking and how does it improve performance. And before we continue, this channel promotes anti-doping and we do not recommend anyone to dope due to the side effects that can potentially have a risk to one's health. Conor Ben was suspended from fighting during the build-up of his fight with Eubank Jr. The clomiphene was found in his B sample. Clomiphene is a fertility drug aimed towards women. In female doping, the uses in the luteal cycle maximize testosterone. So this drug acts like an estrogen blocker and is banned on the water list because of this. So why was this in Conor Ben's system? And what was its purpose? Why was he using it? Clomiphene effectively blocks the estrogen receptors. When taking illegal steroids and artificial testosterone, what can happen is that when you create an excess in testosterone, the excess gets converted into estrogen. Taking clomiphene can, in theory, prevent that from happening, thusly increasing optimal testosterone. So generally, if you're taking clomiphene as a man, there's a good chance that you're taking artificial testosterone or some description. Now, without trying to defame anyone, there's been some suspicions in the newspapers of the links between the Benz and the drug dealers known as the Essex Boys. Pat Tate, Craig Rolfe, and Tony Tucker. They worked as private security for the Benz boxing team but also they owned a certain number of nightclubs and on-door security as well as supplying drugs later on to illegal raves before creating their own illegal rave parties. The Essex boys were assassinated in 1995 in Workhouse Lane, Rettenden. But what does this mean to the modern day? So let's head back into the modern day and leave the era of dodgy dancing, exotic, trance and acid house and explain what does this mean for Connor Ben. God, I don't get to use that distorted voice again. Clomids are only available via prescription, and that means you can only really pick them up from a pharmacist legally inside the UK and the USA and most water nations. This is not something that can be made in a rather dodgy garage and sold on a street corner. This means that you would need a doctor's help in order to obtain such a drug. Unless a Guardian investigation showed that one tablet of Comid costs around about 50 pence to make and it is potentially available on the black market. That's Clomiphene and Conor. If you want to know more about popular doping scandals, check this playlist here. I'm Adam McCarthy of Immersive Sports Science Content Not Commentary, Sports Science Not Bro Science, and I hope you enjoyed this video delving into the science of clomiphene. Now enjoy these pictures of people dancing really weirdly behind me. Bye!